Hey guys! Hello! <sighs> so this is gonna Happy report. Valentine's Day, guys. Nothing to add? Nothing to add? No. Anything that, no? no? You don't want them to have you on that day? No, fuck those people. That would be a very nice Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This might record kind of oddly, so weird editing ahead. Yeah. So, uh, any of you who watched The Honey Pop know that it started off as me knowing what it was and Bridget not. Which we're going to finish uploading soonish. We, we will get everything and that I thought we recorded. that for Valentine's Day, we should play a nice love game. So, uh, something about the way you said that and the bandage tart up here yeah. kind of implies that this is not going to be a lovely love game. That's up to you. And the choices that you make on oh, this exciting oh, visual oh, novel oh, adventure. Oh, horrible things. Okay, so we're going to Horrible things are ahead. This better not be the one where it's fucking, uh... Shiloh LaBeef. A light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle like wooden, wooden wind chimes. The uh, click. Oh, yeah, click. This is a popular tree for couples in the summer. The deciduous trees provide a beautiful green canopy far out of sight of teachers and fellow students. Those those aren't deciduous trees. I don't know what that means. It's it's a type of tree. I, well, it's a, ty it's a type of environment. I'm taking ecology this semester. I'm pretty sure they're not deciduous trees. Keep going. Pretty, pretty positive. But now, in late winter, it feels like I'm standing under a pile of kindling. I breathe into my cupped hands and, and set them on fire. Seriously, <laughs> not my hands, the trees. <laughs> the light makes me feel happy. I'm a pyromaniac, didn't you know? Well, you know now. Oh, okay. To prevent them from numbing, numbing in this cold. cold. Who is Just, he? That's he him. Go? Just how long am I expected? Hold on, shouldn't I be voicing me? Yeah, it's right, fine. Just how long am I supposed to expect it to wait out here anyway? I'm sure the notes at 4 p.m. I'm going to be voting your inside, though. <laughs> I'm going to be your Deadpool voice. Okay. Ah, yes, the note. Slipped between the pages of my math book while I wasn't looking. I don't look in math. <laughs> as, as far as cliches go, I'm more a fan of the letter in the locker, but... You're kind least, of going, like, full on Deadpool. At least this... <laughs> I, could, I could do it better. But at least this way shows a bit of initiative. Yeah! As I ponder the meaning of the note, Stop. the snowfall <laughs> gradually thickens. The snowflakes silently falling from the white painted sky are the only signs of this passing of the straight stagnant world. Stagnant world. Well, if you didn't skip it, the slow descent upon the frozen <laughs> forest to make makes you it stop. seem like time is slowed to a crawl. God, the what rustling a whiny of dry teenager. snow underfoot startles me, interrupting the quiet mood. Someone is approaching me from behind. Hi hey, Sal, you came. Not yet. <laughs> a hesitating, barely audible question that I didn't actually make a question because of the way I phrased it. However, I recognize the owner of that dainty voice instantly. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel my heart skip a beat. I have a heart condition. Brennan, it's you. <laughs> oh no, does he have a heart <laughs> It's a voice I listen to hundreds of times, but never it's more than a s eavesdrop into a conversation. I turn to face this voice, the voice of my dreams, and my heart begins to race. <laughs> I can't see. I like that they said in winter because then they don't have to paint the background. How the fuck do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't want to butcher her name. I went echo. Who cares? She's a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Iwanako. Iwanako? I got to know telling me to wait here. It was yours? Damn it. I spent all <laughs> afternoon trying to come up with a good line. Uh, that was the result? Yes. Pathetic. Yep. Um, yes. I asked a friend to give you that note. I'm so glad you got... Wait, well, you they stuck it into the yeah, math book. Why did it matter? Who gave it? All right. A shy, joyous smile that makes me so tense I couldn't move a single muscle even if I tried. But I'm lazy, so I didn't try. Oh god, is that my heart? My heart is pounding now as if we're trying to burst out of my chest and, <laughs> and claim this girl for itself. You should see a doctor, dude. So, uh, here we are, out in the cold. <laughs> Quick. Once again, the wind stirs up in the branches. The, the, the Iquanawa now uh -huh. assists music to my ears. <laughs> 
Pick the photos. Iwanako flinches ever so softly against the custom window. Well, yeah, look at that skirt! <laughs> as it passes, she writes herself, as if supported by some new confidence. Yeah, look at that skirt! Her, <laughs> her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls her long dark hair around her finger. <laughs> why did you almost gag? I, I burped, sorry. All the while, the anxious beating of my heart grows louder. He's gonna, like, pass out cold, isn't he? I get it, because it's winter. My throat is No, I, I mean... I doubt I could even throat. force a word out if I tried. Is he having an allergic reaction? You see? I poisoned that note. I wanted to know. If you'd go out with me. I stand there motionless, save for my pounding heart. Yeah, we get it. You're dying. I reply, but my vocal cords feel like they've been stretched beyond the breaking point. Sorry, sorry. Is that what? I reach up and try to massage my throat, but this only sends spikes of blinding pain Why in my arms. Why have you heart attack? Ow! <laughs> Dick, right near my ear. My whole body freezes. See I think I'm eyes, having a heart open attack. Tear. Is there an underlying heart condition here? Does he know he has an underlying heart condition? Is he gonna die? <laughs> the beating in my chest suddenly stops and I go weak at the knees. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I'm running, the beating in his chest suddenly stops. The stop. world around me, the canopy of bare branches, the dull winter sky. I'm an echo running towards me, all these... Yo, I have to say, my confidence would totally, like... <laughs> <laughs> Will you go <bow> on me? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I was going to say my confidence would flatline, but I figured that was in poor taste, so oh, I didn't... God say. damn it. <laughs> La you know what? Fuck it. Just moving on. The last thing I remember before slipping away are the sounds of... Uh, screaming for help and the insistent clatter of the branches above. Incessant. What did I say? You said inconsistent. Inconsistent. <laughs> It was inconsistent. It's just the wind light. Yeah, do you understand why the heart had a bandage now? Yes, yes, I do. He's dying. <laughs> Four Leaf Studio presents. Does he have a hole in his heart? That's a, that's a dead hat. Shoujo. Also, he smoked a lot. Yeah. He still smokes a lot. Yeah. I think. Inspiration. Rayta. Writing Anonymous 22 over <laughs> a CPL motherfucker. <laughs> Editing, Kagami, Lost Rod, Silent Cook. I almost said Silent Cook. Music, like, yep. Blue 123, Nicole. Nah, 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 nah. I love that they're not real names. Art, they're all like. Debbie Terra, Tommy Fish, Pimmy. Why are they all like Tumblr names? Art, Moki, Rames, Raid. Additional good. Art, Climactic, Doomfest. Ooh, Doomfest. I like that. Doomfest? FMV Animation, Mike Innell. Directing, Delta, Raid, Ujolfi. Engineering, Delta. Production, CPL, uh, d d d mm -hmm. underscore, and that's what I meant to say. Crud. Which I think makes them corporal crud. Isn't that what CPL is? Corporal. It's been four months since my heart attack. You're really young for a heart attack, dude. In that whole time, I can probably count the times I've left this hospital room unsupervised on one hand. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Four months is a pretty long time when you're left alone with your thoughts, so I've had plenty of time to come to terms with What alone situation. with his thoughts? Where are his parents? He's an a he's not an adult, right? He's like seventeen. Arithmia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna correct you. <sighs> a strange word. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> one that you don't want to be in the same room with. A rare condition that causes the heart to act erratically and occasionally beat way too fast. It can be. <laughs> Apparently, I've had it for a long time. They said it was a miracle that I was able to go on so long without anything happening. Yeah, like, has he never worked out in his life? Because, like, anything that would elevate his heart. Is that really a miracle? No, I guess it was supposed not. to make me feel better, more appreciative of my life. It really didn't do anything to cheer me up. Oh, God. My parents, I think, were hit harder by the news than I was. They probably that's why had they two hemorrhages apiece. That's why they haven't come to But it's okay. Hospital. I had one big one. Fuck them. I'd already had a full day. <laughs> I'd already had a full day by then to he digest already, everything. He already including, explained what the condition was. Including the jello that they left with my lunch. To them, it was all fresh. They were even willing to sell our house in order to pay for a cure. There is a cure. Of course, there is a cure. <laughs> Look, Wait for the script! I'm sorry. Because I hate that you were like, oh, does she have a heart condition? <laughs> because of this late discovery of this 
condition. I've had to stay in the hospital to recuperate from the treatments. I don't know if it's the late discovery of the condition or the fact that you had a heart attack. Maybe you the condition. When I was first admitted, I felt as if I was missed. Probably not. For about a week. My room was the ward full of flowers. My room in the ward was full of flowers, <laughs> balloons, and cards. But the visitors soon dwindled, and all He's the get got well some gifts nice began friends. trickling down to nothing shortly after. I realized that the only reason I had gotten so many cards and flowers was because sending me their sympathy had turned into a class project. That's horrible. Maybe some people were genuinely concerned, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning, I barely had visitors. By the end of the first month, only my parents came by on a regular basis. Amanako was the last to stop visiting. After six weeks, I never saw her again. We never had that much to talk about when she visited anyway. We didn't touch the subject that was between us on that snowy day ever again. Oh wow, what a bitch. The hospital? No, I, I would not go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a place I'd like to live in. Brennan, this is not a, not a nice game. <laughs> the doctors and nurses and also, feel so is impersonal this going and to be faceless. Like an hour of him bitching. <laughs> kind of. I guess it's because they are in a hurry and have a million other patients waiting for them, but it makes me feel That's uncomfortable. That's a big hospital. For the first month or so, I asked the head cardiologist every time I saw him for a rough estimate of when I'd be able to leave. Never. He never answered anything in a straightforward way, but he told me to wait and see if the treatment and surgeries had worked. So I idly observed the scar that those surgeries left on my chest slowly changed into the appearance over time. Taking of it, thinking of it, <laughs> some mm -hmm. kind of omen. I still ask the head cardiologist about leaving, but my expectations are low enough now that I'm not disappointed anymore when I don't get a reply. The way he shuffles around the answer shows that there's at least some hope. At some point I stopped watching TV. I don't know why I just did. Walking oh Dead God. isn't on until later tonight, so yeah. what did I have to watch? Yeah. Maybe it was because of the wrong maybe it was the wrong kind of escapism for my situation. Oh my God. I started reading instead. There was a small library at the hospital, although it was more like a storeroom for books. I began working my way through it one small snack at a time. Aren't After consuming them, novels I would about go making back for like time decisions for more. and stuff. Because is it a wonder that his name means beauty? Because it's been like twenty minutes. Of, I found uh, that I liked reading, and I think I even became a bit addicted. I started feeling. You're seventeen. How did you know you didn't like reading? But I love the stories. This is creepy. That was what my life was like. The days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other, differing only by the book I was reading and the weather outside. I felt like a time in... Blurred into some kind of gooey mass, I was trapped inside instead of moving with him. A week could go by without me really noticing it. Obviously not. Sometimes you know I pause and realize... Shut the fuck up. Sometimes I pause in realization that I didn't know what day of the week it was. But other times, other things surrounding me would painfully crash into my consciousness, though the barrier of nonchalance had, I had set up by myself, for myself, but by myself as well. The pages of my book would start to feel sharp and burning hot, and the heaviness in my chest would become so hard to bear that I had put the book aside just to lay down for a while, looking at the ceiling as if I was going to cry. I understand that he's upset, but he is sick. But, <laughs> but, but... I couldn't even cry. I'm getting a phone call. It's time for next time, anyway. Next time? Next time.